Hello and thank you for watching this video. Well, I've made a video before, which uh, is relatively short, of how to configure accuracy with a spectrum transmitter. But I realized that there are a few more steps that um, need to be done. So I would like to focus um, not only on the accuracy side, but also on how to configure the RX2 SIM and uh, how to configure your spectrum radio. So with our uh, RX2 SIM, you have a button on the side or the top, depending on how you look at it. This one is the one that you use to switch modes. So the correct mode is purple light. So I'm gonna switch between those. There's one more. There you go, um, that's uh, yellow. And then there's one more that's green. So you want to leave it on the purple mode, which is the one that I use for um, IRX to sim with work to work with AQRC. Now for the radio setup, uh, you need to first create a new model. So you push and uh, then you go all the way down to system setup and then go to the model utilities menu and create a new model. That's uh, basically all you need to do. Um, it will create the model for you and then you can just go in and modify it to make sure that it's a heli model. That's uh, all about you need to do. Uh, you need to first make sure that you go to system setup and then you take a look at how your uh, channels are assigned. You can see that throttle aileron, elevator, rudder, gear and pitch. The important part the important one here is gear. So go next and then you can assign a switch to that. You can see that I have the C, which is that one on the top left. So I have the C switch assigned to the gear channel, which is channel five. That is actually how I uh, set up the rescue on AQRC. Now let's take a look at how you set up the throttle curves so that you have your IU1, 2 and 3. So the first one set it up at a flat 25. You can see all points are 25% for the first one. The second one is 50% and the third one is 100%. Of course, hold will be zero. Now you have to go and configure your switches properly. So go again to system setup. And on the F mode setup, which is the flight mode setup, that's where you select your switches. So I have a G, which is my uh, three position, position switch to switch between the different flight modes. So the G switch is a three position switch on the top that I use to select my different uh, flight modes. Um, IU1, IU2 or, or IU3, which is RPM 1, 2 and 3 on AQRC. And then my hold switch is um, the switch H, which is the one that's on the top on the top right on the on the back of the transmitter. I use throttle hold on my real heli as well on that side. And now let's go to the actual um, setup on AQRC. So now that we've, that we've set up our RX2 SIM and we've set up our radio. So we'll go here to transmitter. And first make sure that all the channels are mapped correctly. So um, we have a separate channel for the throttle. So the throttle will change depending on the, remember that we had 25, 50, and 100. So on here we have 25, which shows us zero. Then we have um, 50, which shows that as 38. And then we have uh, 100, which actually shows us 100. And all other channels should map differently. So now we have the collective pitch separated. So we have our full collective pitch range here. We have our rudder here, our elevator, and our aileron. So the 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 the, the defaults for for the radio uh, should work fine. But you know, if you have an issue, if this is not going to hundred, you may have to adjust your servo travel on the radio. Now on functions. So on functions. As you can see, I have channel four assigned, which is my throttle channel, assigned to the RPM one, RPM two, RPM three, and throttle hold. So on my first one, which is 25% uh, 
flat uh, throttle curve. This, if you can see these, uh, these little sliders, I can move them to where these, uh, where these stops. So this stops there on 25%. And then if I change to stunt two or flight mode two or uh, RPM two, then it moves to, remember we have 50% 50, 50 on your throttle curve on the radio. So now we adjust it so that it gets there. As you can see, it changes green so that we can see where we're at. And then finally, RPM three is all the way over here because it's 100. And throttle hold, remember that we had a throttle curve of zero for throttle hold, so that'll send a zero throttle. So if we engage throttle hold, it'll go all the way to the left. As you can see, that's why I put 25 on RPM one so that it's separate from uh, the range of throttle hold so that we can actually uh, set them apart. So if I disengage throttle hold, I I don't clash with the same uh, with the same range of I have you know that range of 25 to zero. So I have all those set up. And um, if you remember that we set up also the gear channel for C on the um, the channel five, which is um, the gear channel, which was assigned to the C switch. So in here, that's my rescue. So I'll go all the way down here and then I'll move my C switch and that'll enable my rescue. So I actually have even rescue if I want to. I don't really care about, you know, weapons and dual rates and ground light. I don't have any more channels and I don't fly airplanes any, anyways. So just for helis, that is fine. So um, <clears throat> the motor from the um, from the helicopter on the simulator will be pretty loud, so I'll explain it before here. So um, I, you can see on the right side that there's uh, a few you know lights, and then if you see on the rescue, if I move the, the, my switch, it'll show that rescue is enabled. Okay, so you will see all. You cannot see my RPM move because. For that, I need to have the motor actually running, but you can hear the changes of the actual speed of the motor as I move through the RPMs. So I'll be moving through that, but I won't be able to uh, make any description because the sound of the actual helicopter motor will be too loud. So here goes. So that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching and um, hope it helps. Remember that I'm on uh, Helifreak if you want to PM me. The, there's another video that is shorter that goes about halfway through this, just the um, AQRC setup. But uh, this is a little bit more complete uh, if you actually need help with you know the whole radio setup. And actually the, the radio setup is very similar to what you would do on a real heli. That's also another thing that I love about AQRC. So um, until next time, thank you very much. Bye-bye.